good evening right now. Good evening, Noem. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, and you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. So, how was your day? Uh, very nice. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Have you completed your homework? Uh, no, not really, teacher. Mm -hmm. Remember to do your homework, right? Which is very important. Mr. Edwin Esau, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great. So to hear Mr. Andre Pardo. Good evening, sir. Okay, let's see who else is in the class. So I can see Edwin, Evelyn, we already say hi, Noe, Mr. Pardo, and Reina. All right, Evelyn, oyente tonight. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let's see here. Great, excellent. So right now, guys, I'm just waiting for um some of your classmates to join the class. Seems like basically everybody's a listener here, right? So I need like some people or more people to join the class. All right. We are just waiting for a couple of minutes, you know, maybe one or two minutes the most. Let's see. Guillermo Abrego, good evening, sir. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? It was a nice day for me. <laughs> right. Oh, day off? No. Uh, I have to work today, but um, how do you say um? Se arruinó como el sistema. No había oh. sistema, entonces solo me tocó decir que no había sistema. <laughs> That's nice. All right, so the system went down like that. Okay, the system went down. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my chief. The whole chief? Whole chief. Oh, my God. So that was actually... And, uh -huh. and I did... One and a half OT. <laughs> you also did OT? Yeah. <laughs> because say, they, uh -huh. they they have a lot of uh, customer calling because they want to change their flights. Their flights. And, and uh, do they still have another call center in Guatemala? In Mexico. Mexico, right. And, and the other and the other sites in um, Colombia. The other sites were working normally or or, or no, just uh, I mean um all the call centers uh, use the same System. program to to make the how do you say cobros? The charges. The chargers. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. All right. Imagine. So you basically you get paid today just to say, no, we are not working. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh my God. You know, and what is surprises me more? It's that you said I also did OT. Oh my goodness. Right. So well, yes, it was definitely a good day for you. All right. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Mr. Luna, which is a listener, Miguel Angel, hello. All right, so Carlos Rivas, hello. Daniel, hello. All right, so let's okay. just start right now here. Okay, excellent. So, well, everybody, welcome to the class right here. So we can start with this activity that, you know, I like to um, perform these activities a lot, all right? So because it helps you to pronounce 
the um, specific sounds correctly, right? So for today's class, the sound that we are focusing on, it's just this one, this one, and this one, all right? Which is similar to this one here, all right? So let me just repeat it here. How much would, would, a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood all right so one more time listen to me how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood all right so let's see this one one more time how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood right so all the words that you need to um, know how to pronounce are here right so then las mismas palabras the same words are here in a different order right um so that's what we have to do right now so we have to practice like the way you pronounce this tongue twister all right so questions about pronunciation Questions, questions, or how to pronounce something? Hello? Hello, hello? No questions? Okay, one more time then. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? That's the tongue twister for tonight. All right, everybody, please. Let's practice right now. Come on, you can do it, all right? So let's just practice this one that is there for you to practice these two sounds, like the uh, the sound of the ch sound in, in much, all right? And also chuck. And then the wood sound, which is part of like wood, wood, and could, all right? So let's continue with that one, people, please. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, so let me see here on the screen. I have here, let's see. Jesus, veamos. 12 people connected, cuantos oyentes? One, two, three, four, all right. So it means like everybody else can participate. Okay, cool, excellent. Good evening, Nuria, good evening, Esteli. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. All right, great, excellent. So we are currently practicing the tongue twister that you can see on the screen. So please let me know if you have questions about pronunciation. Repeat, please, teacher. No problem. All right, so you want me to repeat the tongue twister? Yeah, to repeat the tongue twister? Yes. Okay, no problem. So that will be how, like this one, right? How much would, would, a would chuck, chuck, if a would chuck could chuck would, like that one. Okay. Over time, how much would would a uh, would a uh, would chuck chuck if a uh, would chuck could chuck would like this one how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Like this one. The, the information that I sent you there, it's just like the pronunciation, right? So you can just read it like the way it sounds there to pronounce it. Come on, everybody. Let's just practice. So come on, come on, come on. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yes, yes. Are you practicing? Are you practicing? So let's see the team. Mm -hmm. All right. So yes, remember like the whole thing here, it will be how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? If he would chuck, he would as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a wood chuck wood if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Easy, 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 right? Let's see, let's see. Okay, you still have a couple of seconds to practice. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Just a couple of seconds more. It's almost time. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So now it's time for me to choose a volunteer who is going to help me reading this tongue twister first. All right. Who is going to be the volunteer for tonight? The first volunteer for practicing tonight. Who is it? Me, teacher. That was, let me see here that I lost it. Who was it? Eduardo. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, my friend. How, how much would a wood, wood, wood show wood? If a wood should could show wood, he would shoot he wood as much as he could. And shoot as much wood as wood should wood if a wood should could show wood. Amazing. Congratulations. That was actually super good, super fast, right? So you have been practicing ton twisters, my friend. All right. So that was a good one. Tell me what's the secret. <laughs> repeat, repeat, repeat. Exactly. That's basically the secret. Very good job. Now, thank you, my friend. A any other volunteer? Hello, hello, volunteers. Oh, come on, people. So, let's see. Eduardo, do me a favor and choose the next person then. I choose the victim. Yes. Well, we don't call them victim. We call it volunteer. Ah, volunteer. Okay. <laughs> Nuria quiere participar. Thank you. All right. There you go, Nuria. Que feo modo. Uh, okay. <laughs> How much would would a uh, would chuck chuck if a uh, would chuck call chuck good? He would chuck he would as much as he could, and chuck as much good as would chuck. Would uh, if a uh, would chuck cool chuck wood. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. Thank you very much for that one. Right. So that was a good try. Right. And I know it was hard. Right. But you did it good. Right. So congratulations. Good job. All right. So now, any other volunteer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Green. Every range is oh my god. <laughs> Let's listen okay. to Ursula. Let's see. How much wool would a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? He would chop the wool as much as he could and chop as much wool as a wood chop wood if a wood chop could chop wood. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. That was a good, good, good job as well. Thank you. 
You did super good, um, Ursula. All right. What about the next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Veamos. Oyente, 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 oyente. Aquí está Carlos Rivas, Edwin, eh, Guillermo, Catherine, Maritza, Noé. Aha, my friends. What happens with you here? You can participate. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Maritza, thank you, Maritza. Go ahead. How much good good a uh, good chuk chuk is if a uh, good chuk good chuk good he good chuk he good as much as he could and chuk. As much good as a good chuk good is a good chuk good chuk good. Great job, excellent. Thank you very much on this one. All right, so you were doing also a good job. Uh -huh. Daniel, Edwin, Guillermo, what happens, Guillermo? You were talking to me a couple of minutes ago. Where are you now? Okay. Oh, Daniel, go ahead. How much would the wood the wood chop chop if a wood could chop wood? He would chop he would as much as he would and chop as much wood as a wood chop wood if a wood chop wood chop wood. Thank you very much. Exactly, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for participating, right? You were doing a very good job. Okay, everybody, thank you for the ones who participated, right, with the tongue twister. Remember that these activities with the purpose of improving your pronunciation, intonation, and of course, your fluency, right? So now let's see. Hey, what happens here? Okay, there you go. So now we are going to go to this review, 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 all right? What is the review about? So remember yesterday we were talking about the schedules, right? So we are going to be working with this tonight right here, all right? So uh, let's see, let me send this image that you can see there. I will send it to the group so you can see it in a better quality, right? So let's see here. I'm sending this right now. And here you are. Okay, excellent. So the image should be there right now. Okay, excellent. So what are we going to do with this one? I want you to please check this schedule, right? Pay attention here to the, um, the details, right? So this is the date, all right? So remember this part here, it's the day. Incomplete, it's called date. All right, so that's the name of the people, all right? So remember that we have the schedule, the position, all right? And what you say, when you see off, it means that they are not working, right? And um, what else, what else? Well, that's basically the whole thing here, all right? So what are you going to do with this information? With this information, you are going to answer the following questions, the questions that you see on the screen right now okay so we are going to go to the breakout rooms in in couples or in groups or in teams all right so we are going to discuss what's the possible answer based on the schedule that you saw before remember that the schedule it's already in your a uh, whatsapp group right so let's see let me just one second there you go, so I can set it here. Okay. I'm sending this image also right now to your... Oh, Maritza sent something too. Let's see Maritza if you send the pictures. Yeah, thank you Maritza for sending the questions, all right? Uh, okay, now let me just verify here. I'm going to stop sharing the screen right here and I'm going to organize the breakout rooms so we can go to practice, all right? I have here, supposedly, this. Okay, now let's see. It says Evelyn Molina, are you there? 
Hello, Evelyn. Oh, oyente. Okay, no problem. All right, Maritza Martinez. Yes, teacher. You can participate, right? Yes. Thank you. Noé Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Excellent. Can you participate in the activities? Yes, ready. Thank you. All right, uh, Mr. Angel, it's oyente, okay. Daniel Membreño, are you ready? Yes, sir. Excellent. Henry is a listener. Wilfredo is a listener. Mr. Pardo is a listener. Reina is a listener. Ursula, ready, right? Yes, teacher, of course. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see. And then, let's see here. Okay, um, who else? Mr. Custodio, listener. Karen, are you ready? Karen Beatriz. Uh, hello, Karen, I saw you. Hello, hello. We can hear. hear. Yes. Estamos. Catherine. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Eh, Eduardo Flores. You ready? Here I am. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be here. Oops. All right. All right. Esaú Galdames. Yes, teacher. Guillermo Abrego. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Good. Enjoy your meal. All right. Mr. Carlos Rivas. Listen there. Okay. Okay, excellent. So let me organize this one right now, ladies and gentlemen. Teacher. Yeah. Yo sí voy a participar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nuria, sorry, I just got you here. Don't worry, you're fine. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Oops, oops, oops. All right, number seven. Sorry, people, it's taking me this time because I have to organize accommodating listeners and participants. And I have a group full of uh, listeners. Okay, so let's see. Go here. Okay, let's see here. Listener. Two people here. Listener. Excellent. Okay, well, I guess I have organized the rooms, right? Go to work in the rooms. If you have questions or if you are working only with participants, let me know. All right, so. Sonia, hello, Sonia. Hello, teacher. Vamos a la agregamos ahí, don't worry. Ahí estamos. Listener, listener, listener. Okay, fine. Just listeners here. Okay. What is Jenny Smith ship of Friday at 12? Mueva un poquito a la izquierda. 
Os de okay. bem? Okay. Jenny Smith. Uh, the chief is from, from, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Number three. What day does Salin check 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 work? Check work. Saturday. Questions, guys? Thank you. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Remember, I'm going to be here. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Sí, tengo, eh, para decir de martes a sábado sería from Tuesday to Friday, Saturday. From Tuesday to Saturday. That is correct. Ah, okay. Okay, number four. Number four. On what day will Mary Oliver work from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Mary Oliver. Oliver. Um, on Friday. Yes, on Friday. On Friday. Yes. Okay, hey, great. Mm -hmm. Number five. What Guys, I will go to a different yeah. classroom. Lo están haciendo bien. You're doing okay, all right? Okay, thank, you. thank you. You're welcome. Gaston Hernandez, day off. Hello, hello. You guys finished? Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you finished the five questions? Yes. Great, excellent. So then that means that right now we are going to close the rooms and then we go back to the main session, okay? Okay. Thank you. We are just waiting for the other classmates to join the class. Let's see here. 
Did all of you finish, people? Yes, teacher. Yes, right? That was an easy activity. Of course. In the meantime, let me share this. Excellent. Okay. Well, welcome back, everybody else. So uh, I, I can see here that you were working on this activity and you finished quickly, right? So that means that you understood yesterday's activities, all right? So now I need one volunteer for question number one. Who's my volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you very much, Nuria. Can you please read the question and also tell me the answer? Okay. What is... um what? I'm Paul's job. Correct. She is a manager. She is a manager. That is correct. That's something that we can see here, all right? It is Anne's Paul, manager, all right? Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Nuria. Another volunteer for number two. Who's the volunteer, please? Manager. Thank you, Noe, right? Okay. What is Jenny Smith, chief of Oh, Friday at 12. Mm -hmm. And for, for all, uh, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. From, let's see here. What do you say one more time? For, uh, for, 4 p.m. The 12th. Jenny Smith, Jenny Smith, he was on the 12th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Correct. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, my friend. All right. So now who is going to be my next volunteer for the question number three? Go ahead. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, come on, people. It's just about you participating. Right. Hello, hello. She is Saturday. No, remember the question and the answer, please. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Um. What die does Sally Chen work? Okay. She is or oh, oh, she um Saturday. All right. Solo Saturday. Um Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Correct. All right. So like that one. Exactly. Right. So we need to see like this is Sally Chen. So let's see here. She was just working. Uh-huh. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Here it is. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So. Exactly. Thank you. What about number four? Number four, number four. Me, teacher. Thank you, Guillermo. Go ahead. Okay. On what day will Mary Oliver work from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Mm -hmm. She works on Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. On Friday, Mary Oliver. That's correct. Thank you very much. All right. You did it good. And I volunteer for the last question, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Go ahead. What Tom Hernandez day off? Mm -hmm. When is it? All right, no problem. <laughs> and the off Tony Hernandez, Tom Hernandez is Monday and Tuesday, <clears throat> Tuesday. 
Okay, excellent. All right. Just remember, uh, that, that's correct. Of course, that's correct. Just remember that when we're talking about the days, we need to say on, on Monday and on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you repeat it again? On Monday and on Tuesday. Correct. Super good. Thank you. And thank you, everybody who participated in this activities right here. We are so happy to hear you guys practice, okay? So, questions about the vocabulary or any other question regarding this activity? No questions? Yes or no? Teacher. Uh -huh. teacher Go ahead, cuando, cuando se dice las horas de, de 4 p.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. Yes. Oh. It will be, remember that it will be from, por ejemplo, from. digamos, es de 2 a 10. From mm -hmm. 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Can I continue? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So, well, everybody, let's just go ahead and verify those two questions that we have for tonight. All right, so it says question number one. You can see it here. All right, so one second. So this is question number one, okay? So it's going to be how difficult is it to organize a staff schedules, right? That's the question number one. So how difficult is it to organize staff schedules, all right? So let's see. Let me look for somebody here. All right, Ursula, please tell me. How, how can I understand the question number one? Um, can you translate it for us? Can you translate ah, yes. it for uh -huh. Yes. ¿Qué tan difícil es organizar los horarios del personal? Thank you, Ursula. That was actually very good. All right. So, and then we have the question number two. Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Let's say this one. Let me check. Mr. Daniel Membreño, how can you translate the last, the second question? Mm -hmm. La computadora es una buena herramienta para crear efectivamente un horario para empleados. That is correct. Thank you, Daniel. All right, that was actually good. So those are the two questions that you guys are going to present. Now, please pay attention because I uh, prepare some examples. So you have an idea about how to answer those two questions. And then here we have the example of the question number one, right? This is an example, an idea, right? So you can use it, take it and work on that one, change some words, cambialo un poquito, right? But basically that's actually an example of how you can answer the question number one. It says, organizing staff schedules can vary in difficulty depending on several factors. It requires careful planning, effective communication, and an understanding of the unique needs and availability of each staff member, right? That's actually an example, right? So let's see here. I need a volunteer who can help me to read this example. Who's my volunteer? For reading, yes. All right, Daniel, go ahead. Organizing a staff schedule can be can vary in difficulty depending on several factors. It requires careful planning, effective communication, and an understanding of, of the unique needs and uh, availability. availability, availability. availability availability mm -hmm. on each staff member okay very good excellent thank you so much on this one all right i have questions for you right now everybody so do you have questions about the vocabulary in this example yes sir what is it several several several, several. this one right here so several means many or a lot Understand? Many or a lot. Uh huh. What is many or a lot? 
Muchos. Yes, correct. There you go. Any other question regarding vocabulary? All right. Ursula, very. This one. In availability. Okay. Uh, no, only, only can vary. Very. All right. So very, it's the yeah. verb variar. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. And availability, okay. which is disponibilidad, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Okay, remember that this is an example, right? Un example que yo les he preparado, that I have prepared, para que puedan darse una idea de que contestar. Your answer puede parecerse a esta, can be this one, but eh, you have to create it based on, on, on your companies or on your own examples, okay? Let's see this one. This is para number one. Para number two, we have this one right here. The question is, like, if the computers are a good tool, right? So, aquí estoy diciendo yo, I'm saying here, yes. Computers are a good tool for creating effective employee schedules as they save time, reduce errors, offer flexibility, enable communication, and provide valuable reporting and analysis. All right. However, human judgment should be also be considered. Sorry, human judgment should also be considered to strike a balance between technology and the human element in the scheduling. All right. Good, let's do this one. I need another volunteer here, my friends, who can help me to read the second example here. Who's my next volunteer? Tell me. Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Please start. Okay. Yes, computers are a good tool for cre creating effective employee schedules as they save time. Save time. Reduce errors, offer flexibil flexibility, flexibility, enable communication, flexibility, mm -hmm. eh, enable communication and mm -hmm. provide val val valuable eh, reporting and analyze. However, human judgment should also be considered to strike a balance between technology and the human element in a scheduling. 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 All right. So very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Nuria. And everybody, questions about vocabulary in this slide? Something that you would like to change? I mean, to change, to ask? Judgment. Which one? Judgment. Judgment. Okay. Let me see if I understood correctly. It's this one. Yes or no? Yes. All right, excellent. So, what will be judgment, people? Do you know it? Mm -hmm. Yes or not? Okay, no problem. All right, so, eh, significa juicio, pero no como algo legal, sino como like, um, let's say, like an opinion, let's say. All right, so, is that clear? Okay. All right, como el juicio eh, de humano, es decir, como la percepción humana o la opinión humana, all right? In that case, all right, excellent. So, anything else? Strike it, teacher. Thank you. Vamos a ver aquí, where is it? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, it's this one, right? Yes? Yes. Yes. Very good. Excellent. So we are talking there. Si le ponemos solo a strike, all right, puede significar like um, una huelga, all right? So, right, o golpear o atacar, all right? So in this case, right? But this is if I said, for example, um, solamente la palabra strike, que sería huelga, like this one. Pero como aquí dice strike, eh, a balance. Ahí cambia el significado. And that will be a strike a balance. Will be similar to the say here. This one. Lograr un equilibrio. 
equilibrio, sorry. Es el equilibrio. Okay, mental. okay. All right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Excellent. So, any other question? Where? where? Es scheduling, ¿qué significa teacher? Scheduling viene de hacer los horarios. Como organizar los horarios, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, organizar, planificar horarios. That's the correct translation for that one. Okay. Any other word? Sonia, do you have questions? Yes, it's scheduled and it's scheduling. What is the difference? I don't understand these two. I thought that scheduling was like the horarios. This is a schedule. The horary. And scheduling is the planification of the horarios. Okay. Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. Any other word? Enable. Enable. I guess it is. But where is it? Let me see. Um, say time errors. Where is enable? Oh, enable. Thank you. Thank you, Ursula. All right, so like that one, all right? Enable means, eh, depending on the context, all right? But in this one, it will be like permitir o hacer posible o realizar. Okay, any other word? Oops. All right, anything else? No more questions? No question, teacher. Okay, well, if that's the case, we're well, going to stop the share right here so we can go back to the breakout rooms and we can talk on answering those questions, right? Preparen su propia respuesta. All right, we can work in couples para que se puedan apoyar. And then after a couple of minutes, we are going to return here so we can Listen to your answers, okay? Go back to the rooms, my friends. Catherine, Catherine, usted está en un grupo, Catherine, o oh, no? Yes, teacher. In qué we... grupo? Do you remember? Eduardo, Eduardo Flores. Okay. Eduardo Flores, number five, okay. There you go. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Eduardo, Catherine is waiting for you. Questions about vocabulary or anything else? No question. Okay, I will be here in this um, room. If you have questions, just let me know, okay? Okay, thank you.
¿Ya las terminaste, Daniel? Did you finish, Daniel? No, I no. I don't. I haven't. No, I haven't. Exactly, very good. Mm. <laughs> escondido, yes, I told you. <laughs> Creí que ya no estaba el teacher. Ah, verdad. Me lo escondí. To see what happened. Okay, or now, yes, I'm going to go to a different room, but no Spanish, Sonia. Okay, teacher. <laughs> yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Of the difficulties is organized stop the schedule. Remember that you pronounce it as organized. Organized. Correct. Organized. Yeah. I think that it is complicated when you don't have the the experience. Uh, are computers a good tool to create create effective schedule for employees? Yes, the computer make work easier, especially worksheets. How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? It is difficult, difficult when there uh, are many people and the schedules are different uh, pertaining. Are computers a good tool to create effective schedule for employees? Yes, computers are one of the best tools to create creative schedule in a easier and more effective way. Why? Way. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. You need Did help you... with questions? Mm, mm. No. No, excellent. So you finish. Yes. Yeah. Remember que no de leer las respuestas que yo le di, sino que es crear su propia respuesta, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, excellent. So I have here two volunteers. Excellent. Yes. Yo tengo dos volunteers aquí. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Hello, hello, girls. You finished? Hello, hello, girls. You finished? Hi, teacher. Um, finish the first question. Okay. I'm I'm working in the second. Working on the second one. Perfect. No problem, mm -hmm. Ursula. What about you, Nuria? Yes, teacher. The the first question is ready. It's done. Okay. 
No problem. Continue working on the first question. I will be here in this room. If you need help, let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, time's up. I'm going to close the rooms right now and we'll select some volunteers in a moment. Okay, teacher. Thank right. you. Okay, I'm just waiting for everybody else to join the class right here. Excellent. All right, everybody, now we are going to continue with this, um, you know, questions and participating. I'm going to listen to three people for the first question and three people for the second question. Who is going to be my first volunteer for question number one? Hello? Me, teacher. That's Ursula, right? Yes. Go ahead, my friend. So how difficult it is, I'm sorry, how difficult is it to organize the staff schedules? Okay. Um, organizing staff schedules are very difficult. It requires care careful planning, effective, effective communication, and also you must be understanding this and the availability of this staff member. All right, excellent, um, thank you. And, oh, you have finished, sorry. And, okay. Yes, and if you work as a technician, it's important to uh, organize the schedule with the customers because the time of the customer is important too. Okay, very That's good. It. Excellent, thank you very much, right? So you were doing a very good job on this one. Nice fluency and a really good organized idea, right? So congratulations, Ursula, thank you for participating. Okay, now let's just continue with the next one there. Uh, another volunteer for the same question, number one. Volunteer, volunteer? Make it, chair. Go ahead, Nuria. Okay, when making 
specials the availability, availability uh, of each team member must be taken into account the to various factors, vacation, day off, studies, um, disability, disabilities, disabilities, um, disabilities. Um, one should always try not to over, overload the team. All right, excellent. Overload the team. That's, That's an interesting uh, word right there, right? Sobre cargar. Very good. So, thank you very much. Okay, then. Uh, thank you, Doria. That was actually a great idea. And thank you for the vocabulary that you were applying there as well. All right. One volunteer more for the question number one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who's my volunteer? Hmm? Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for being the volunteer. All right, now please go ahead and start. How difficult it is to organize a stock schedule? It depends on my own many factors. For example, in my job, the, the hours are rotating for many. And sometimes they won't. Okay, exactly. All right. So that was a short answer compared to the previous ones, but it was also good because you were able to, um, you know, I mean, give the idea over there in a very simple way. But thank you. I really like it. Right. So, and good job organizing the vocabulary. That was actually super nice. Thank you, my friend. Good job as well. All right, everybody. Now let's just move to the next question. The question number two where also I'm going to use, well, I'm going to need, excuse me, three volunteers more, all right? Who is my next volunteer for the question number two? Please, question number two. How is it? Yes, 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 yes. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. All right, thank you, Sonia. So I need you to help me with the question number two. Okay, this uh, our computer a good tool for creating effective check schedule for employees. Yes, they are a good tool. They facil facilitate, facilitate the crea uh -huh. facilitate the cre creation 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 of flex flexibly sketchable Flexi. and better uh, uh, and better protects the information. All right, so very good, excellent. Thank you for so taking into account all those things, all right? Very good job, you did it wonderfully over there, okay? So now let's see, thank you, Sonia. Another volunteer for the second question? Hello, everybody. Noe, thank you, Noe. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, teacher. Um... Our computer a good tool to the create create effective schedule for employees. Yes, the com the computer is a uh, one of the best tool to make employees schedule in a easier and more efficient way. Why? Way yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. So you are doing a very good job. Just remember that the word there, it's going to be way. Repeat it. Way. Exactly, which means like forma. Way. All right, so there you go. Excellent. So, well, thank you, my friend. So I need one volunteer more people, please. Just one more. 
who's going to be my next volunteer for the second question? Thank you, Maritza, for participating. All right, please tell me, are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Yes or no? Yes. The computer make work easier, especially the worksheets. Yeah, the worksheets, right? So it's true. It's true, right? It simplifies everything, right? So you are actually correct on that one, all right? Um, well, let's say this one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue with the next activity here. Do you have questions before we go to the next activity? No questions? Okay, excellent. So now let's just continue with the next activity here, which is going to be the activity number three. All right, so which is going to like, you know, practice the conversation that we have right here. Okay, let me read it for you, all right? So you can see how this um, conversation is pronounced, all right? And then you can do it as well. Remember that here you have a question, right? And when you have a question, you need to have a specific intonation. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most effective way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time, right? Well, let's just go on this one right here. And I need you to like, please practice. Do you have questions about vocabulary used on this conversation? Vocabulary? Hello, hello. Do you keep? Okay, you want to know the meaning of keep or? Do you keep the, it's what a, is? It's a question. So if you want to say like, do you keep? It's like, como conservar, como, like, like that one. For example, ahí la respuesta, la, la pregunta completa sería, how do you keep? All right, so which is going to be like, como conservas o como mantienes? Um, el, el horario organizado. Understand? Yes, teacher. All right. Conservas, like this one. All right. Any other question? Vocabulary? Yes or no? Complaining. Complaining is... means quejarse. Uh, okay, excellent. Anything else? Mm -hmm. No more questions? Okay, if you don't have more questions, let's just actually uh, practice this conversation again with your partners, right? But remember, right? Practice. Not only once, no solamente una vez, sino hace que le salga super nice, all right? So it could be three times, four times, five times, etc. right? Pero antes de like, I'm sorry, before de que se vayan a practicar, sorry, I forgot to mention something important right here. Uh, you have to also work on this activity. So this activity, it's going to be part of the uh, conversation. It says, look at the conversation and answer the questions. Van a responder estas preguntas. You're going to answer the questions based on the paragraph that you were reading. This one. So you have a double activity right now. You are going to read, practice the pronunciation, the intonation, the reading, and then you are going to answer the questions we have here. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So did you take the screenshot for this one? Did you? Okay. Perfect. So let's just go to the breakout rooms.
Okay. The best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I using an uh, online service so that the staff can can you can can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to to get your staff organized and on time. Okay, Laura, how do you get the schedule organized? My organized. My staff is always complaining. Okay. Hello? Hello. All right, excellent. So thank you guys for participating on this. But now let me just give you um, a hand, right? Let me help you with the pronunciation of some words. So for example, the first word that says Laura, then it says Laura, how, 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 no ho, how. Repeat how. it. How. how. How do you get the schedule organized? Repeat it. Organized. Exactly. How do you uh -huh. get the schedule organized? Organized. Uh -huh. My staff is always complaining. Now you say, Laura, I... Staff... Uh -huh. Continue. My staff is always complaining. Correct. And it says, I use an online service so that the staff can use their schedules for on their funds. Y ahí estamos bastante bien. So, entonces, la palabra organized. Y la palabra how. Organized. Um, organized. In your case, um, Maritza, right? Yeah. All right. Remember that la palabra eh, que dice ahí time eh, termina en una M. Y la M, para pronunciar la M, you need to close your lips. Entonces, no sería time, sino que time. sería time. Repeat it. Time. Exactly. Sounds a little bit better. All right. So good. I'm sorry for interrupting. You can continue again. Go ahead. Practice one more Teacher, time. Yes. Efficient. 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 Correct. Efficient. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. Laura, who, who do you who do you keep the schedule? Organize, organize, organize. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That's some like the the most efficient way. I bet is say. Uh, a lot of time, time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Okay, excellent. So, Laura, you know, let me give you a recommendation, all right? So, you're doing good. Almost super good, all right? Now, let's try to give more intonation, right? Porque ahorita se escucha como... Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? That's fine because you are learning, I know. Intentemos hacerlo de esa manera. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Dándole la intonation. How do you keep your schedule organized? Repeat it. Okay. Uh, how do you keep the schedule organized? Exactly, all right? Y así damos Lando. My staff is always complaining. Repeat it. 
My staff, My staff is always complaining. Is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. Y así va con la intonation, all right? Uh -huh. Vamos bien con la pronunciación ahorita, so quédense practicando, continue practicing the intonation, okay? Okay. Okay, Excellent. thank you. Thank You're welcome. I will go to a different room right now. Okay, let's okay. see. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Like the, mo the most efficient way. That's hello, like the most hello, hello, way. hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Vamos a revisar la pronunciation porque aquí escuché, I just heard something that that's not correct. It is efficiency. Yeah. All right. Okay. So efficient, right? And Gilbert. Okay, let me see. Gilbert, Gilbert and Laura. Let me listen to you. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff or organized. Okay, thank you very much. And on time. Okay, vamos a revisar ahí like some pronunciation. Uh, Daniel, remember que no es why, porque no es la pregunta por qué. It's the, uh, the, the, the word way. way. Repeat way. The most, the efficient, most efficient way. Efficient. Efficient way. Eh, the most efficient way, correct, right? Y, um, Sonia, right? Pues que usted, you don't mm -hmm. like Sonia. Usted se llama, I forgot, what's another one? Esmeralda. That's what you like. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Okay, sorry, Sonia. Esmeralda will be for now. <laughs> All right, Esmeralda, eh, in your case, it will be um, the best way to keep your staff organized. Repeat it. Organized. 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 And then the word time. Repeat it. Organized. Uh -huh. uh, um, and on time. And on time. All right. Listen, no se dice time porque es una M al final y la M va con los labios cerrados. Sería time. Time. Muy bien. There you go. Excellent. Continue practicing. Organize. 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 Yay. Organize. Organize. Time. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Organize. Okay, I will okay. go to a different classroom. Please continue practicing and don't forget the questions. Okay. 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 Lo, lo, lo hacemos para que nos oiga. Ajá. Ajá, teacher. Ahorita. Right now, okay. Uh -huh. Repeat it. Right now. Yours, Ursula, usted? Mm -hmm. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organ organized and on time. Okay, very good now, job. Chase, Nuria. Chase, Nuria. Okay. Hmm. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way 
I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Ready, teacher. <laughs> Very good job, excellent. Just one um, recommendation, reader. Ursula, you're doing perfectly good, all right? Nuria, you are also doing good. Pero ahorita que cambiaron, al principio, Nuria, um, remember que cuando dice Laura, it's not how, it's how. <laughs> yeah, okay. it, it, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. They sound super good, ladies. First volunteers, right? Okay. Excellent. First volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Excellent. So, uh, well, we are going to continue right now. So, I'm going to close the rooms. Please go back to the next activity. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just waiting for everybody else to return here. Just a couple of seconds more. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for returning to the main session. So I am going to listen to some volunteers to practice the conversation here, all right? Who was my first couple of volunteers? Main teacher. Thank you, Guillermo. Who are you working with? With Edwin. All right, Edwin and Guillermo, ready. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use on online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes. It is the best way to keep your staff organized safe and on time. Okay, excellent. All right, so that was actually super good. Now, guys, switch. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized safe? Organized. My staff. Organized. Mm -hmm. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their, their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much in this one, right? Thank you, guys. You are doing a very good job. Yo sé que esa palabra les cuesta un poco, right? Not only you, to like everybody. Remember, it's organized. Repeat it. Organized. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Thank you. Thank you, Guillermo, and thank you, Edwin. All right. Get applause for you here. And also, now tell me, what is going to be the next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Thank you. It's going to be Nuria and Esteli, right? Right. Right. Okay, please go ahead, girls. Uh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their 
they do from the on. The songs like the most efficient way. I bet it safe a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Okay, now I'll switch. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? The staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized on and on time. Oh. All right. Yes, that's correct. Great job. And thank you for applying the corrections. That was actually super nice, my friends. All right. So good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girls. All right. So one couple more. Who's going to be my couple, people? Mm -hmm. Yes. One more. Hello. Hello. Hey, DJ. Thank you, Noe. And who are you working with? It's... Who? With me? With Maritza. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Laura, who do you keep the, the schedule organized? My... My staff is always complaining. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is... Mm, you are reading the same. Okay, my is getting easy. Yes. Okay. okay, go ahead. Creo que tengo mal la señal, por eso no. Laura... How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so, so that the staff can see their uh, schedule for, from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the, the best way to keep your staff organized and on, la, on time. Okay, excellent. Now, switch. Okay. Laura, who do you keep the, the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the, the most efficient way. way. It, it, it very save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Correct. Excellent. Thank you very much. And thank you uh, for changing there. Remember, it's no why, it's way. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good job, my friend. Super nice. Now, I will ask here for more volunteers, but to help me with this one. Remember, uh, we have to like answer those questions or complete, basically fill the blank spaces using the information we were reading in the previous question, right? In the previous paragraph. I'm sorry. Okay. So tell me. Who can help me with number one? Mm -hmm. Volunteer for number one? No, teacher. Thank you, Noé. Go ahead. That, that sounds like the, the most efficient way, way. Okay. It says here. Sorry. The most. The most. Effective, right? Yes. Effective way. All right. Excellent. So the most effective way. Very good. Excellent. And number two, volunteer for number two. Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead. It is the best way 
to keep mm -hmm. your stuff organized and on time. The best way, way. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. And those were two phrases that we were actually studying from the previous activity, right? Thank you guys for helping me with this one. Hey, now let's see this one. The one that estas frases. Why are we talking about those two phrases, all right? And it's because we are going to be working or talking about this, the superlative form of adjectives, right? So, in, uh, well, first of all, let me tell you what is a superlative. We use the superlative form of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group, right? Um not two, more than two, all right? So, and this is just like when we're trying to like highlight, highlight means resaltar. So when we try to highlight the, um, like the adjective, all right, in something or someone. So when you're saying like, for example, el más alto, el más rápido, el más um, veloz, for example, el más lento, etc., right? But we are saying that in that way, right? What's the structure right here? Let's pay attention here, all right? This is the structure, right? So first of all, um, tenemos two rules right here, right? Cuando tengamos un adjetivo de una sílaba, all right? So a one syllable adjective, vamos a decir siempre de, all right, el adjetivo, y luego le vamos a agregar al final est. All right, so, ¿qué quiere decir esto? For example, that if I have here this one, one second right here, okay? Let me show you here what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay. Where is it? One quick second. This one. Okay, that's it. Oops, one second. One second, I'm going to show you this in a better way. Excellent, with a whiteboard right there, okay? So this is what I am just like um, going to show you right here, okay? So this is what happens right here. When we have here, please join this one. Perfect. So you go here, this one immediately, all right? And it says, tenemos un adjective. All right, so this one right here, for example, Examples of adjectives are going to be like tall, uh, big, right, uh, happy, right, or like, for example, fast, etc. Right? Or oh, tenemos expensive. We also have a uh, beautiful, handsome, etc. So we have all those things. So todos estos aquí, all the ones you see here. Okay. Are you are you looking at my my um my whiteboard? Yes, right? Hello? No teacher. No está viendo la nueva pantalla, people? So be yeah. happy, fast, expensive, beautiful. Yes. yes, 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 yes. All right. Ahí les iba a salir una invitación para para ver esta um eh, esta pizarra, right? Este um, whiteboard. So ahí tiene que darle usted a seguir. All right. So those that you can see here are going to be, um, you know, adjectives, right? The ones you can see here. ¿Qué es entonces? Or what is then uh, the superlative? The superlative is when I want to hide like, como el, like the top, right? The best. And then you said this one right here. So for example, when you have this one, Van a ver algunas reglas. For example, the first rule says here that when I have here only one syllable, all right, 
uh, which is, for example, tall, uh, big, or anything else. One second. When I have here, for example, tall, big, all right, or fast, esos son adjetivos de una sola sílaba, right? So, entonces, in those cases, I'm just going to add EST at the end. For example, it's going to be here. It's going to go from tall to the tallest. All right, super important here to know it's that I need to always add that at the beginning. Siempre debo poner ese de al principio, this one. Vamos a dejar aquí underline. Siempre va ahí. Y aquí la, el cambio sería este. Like this. So do you see that? That is exactly this one. Entonces ahí pasamos de un adjetivo eh, que sería nada más tall a el superlativo que sería the tallest. Right? Ahora, how do you translate into Spanish the tallest? ¿Cómo se traduciría eso, my friends? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello, hello. El más alto sería. El más alto, exactly. All right. So that's actually what the tallest is. All right. So guys, eh, quiero ver que aquí quién está viendo. All right. Let's see. Everybody, supposedly. There. All right. So in this one, it's actually what happens right here. So eso significa aquí, what it says here, el más alto. El más alto. All right. That's actually what this means right here. Okay. Exactly. So el más alto. So that's actually what the superlative has right here. And for example, in the class, in the class we have, I mean, in the conversation, teníamos ahí, for example, um, the best way of the things, the thing that you have to say there. All right, then, ¿qué pasa entonces con adjetivos que tienen más de una sílaba, right? So, well, depending, right? Si tenemos un adjetivo que sea de dos sílabas, but it finishes or it ends in Y, termina con una Y, una Y, we are going to apply exactly la, la, la misma regla que aplicamos antes. So, for example, we can have here this one. Si tenemos happy, then we are going to say, the happiest. We are going to eliminate, and pay attention to this one, my friends, because it's important that you remember this. So here, as I said before, right? So we have this one right here, all right? So we have the, as before, but take a look at this one. This one, it's the difference right there, because it's now this one. Eliminamos la Y, we eliminate the Y, and then we add I, E, S, T. Esto solo va a pasar cuando tenemos what? When we have what? Why? Why, exactly, right? Thank you. So, then, ¿qué pasa si, for example, mi adjetivo es de más de dos sílabas, pero no termina en why? So, it's going to be like this one. For example, expensive. What's the meaning of expensive? Expensive means caro, right? So, El más caro will be the most expensive. So, ¿qué quiere decir esto? What does it mean? All right. Que cuando el adjetivo sea like expensive. En este caso, three syllables. All right. Vamos a agregar esto. The most. Para hacer el superlativo. Y el adjetivo se queda sin modificaciones. All right. Cuando el adjetivo es corto, agregamos est. Cuando el adjetivo es largo, agregamos the most. ¿Estamos clears aquí, my friends? Yes, teacher. Yes, thank you, Noé. And the rest, is it clear? Yes, it's clear. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so we are going to close this whiteboard and let's go back to the presentation, all right? What is actually what we were saying here. Okay, fíjense en esto acá. Tenemos unos, like, unos adjetivos, all right? Can you see the presentation again? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Super. All right. Los adjetivos. All right. So, um, la, las reglas que aplicamos anteriormente, the rules that we applied before, se aplican para todos los adjetivos. 
tenemos nada más two exceptions, right? Que serían this one. Los adjetivos good y los adjetivos bad. A estos no les vamos a aplicar las reglas anteriores. Vamos a esos dos. We are not going to apply the previous rule to those two adjectives. Why? Porque son adjetivos irregulares. Es decir, they change. All right. So, for example, if you want to say here, you can say, for example, um, this one right here. You can say good. El, el superlativo sería the best. Ejemplo, CR7. All right, so, like that. Yes. 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 Exactly, eso, eso, muy bien. Punto más por ustedes. All right, so, let's see, like this one, the best. ¿Y cuál sería entonces el de bad? El, el operativo sería the worst. All right, que sería el mejor y el peor. All right, understand? Yes. 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 yes, all right, excellent, thank you. Eso se aplica solo para estos dos, okay? Very good, excellent. So, to see if you guys understood this one, let's just go back here. Eh, well, antes de seguir con el exercise, do you have any question? I have a question. Tell me, Daniel. For example, when you say big, le agregamos... Eh, una G de más la, la E, la S y la T o solo la E, la S y la T Well, thank you for that question all right? Esa regla no está mencionada aquí pero ahorita te la explico all right? So the rule was not mentioned before but let me explain to you that one What happens with that adjective is a short adjective it's only with one syllable y tiene una característica específica which is like consonante, vocal, consonante You see? B, I, G consonante, vocal Consonante, the consonant, vowel, consonant. Cuando tenemos esta combinación de, de, de letras en una sola sílaba, un adjetivo de sola sílaba, en one syllable adjective, so we actually do this one. So it's we'll like bigger. Biggest. The biggest sería. Siempre va al de al principio. The biggest. Understand? Okay. Lo mismo sucedería, por ejemplo, con el adjetivo hot. Cumple los mismos requisitos. Consonant, consonant, vowel consonant. So, sería the hardest. H, the hardest. All right. Exactly. All right. So, next, another, other podría ser funny. Like fun. Ahora, see, like this one right here, que podría ser, for example, let's see. Um, another one, she's just one. Oh, tall. Este es corto. ¿Cómo sería entonces? ¿Duplicamos la L? Yes or no? No. No, why not? No. Because yes. it was two L. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. This is what happens right here. Recuerden que este adjetivo, todas sus escrituras son tres letras nada más. Only three letters, right? Lo mismo de acá. Entonces, estamos hablando de las últimas tres letras. Si agarramos las últimas tres letras de acá, no se cumple porque queda vocal, consonante, consonante. All right? Vowel, consonant, consonant. All right? Entonces no serían las primeras tres letras, sino que serían las últimas tres letras, como en este caso. Entonces queda nada más de tallest. ¿Understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Con otro, el otro adjetivo, cuando usábamos el ER, viene siendo casi lo mismo. Eso se llaman comparativos. Those are comparatives. Eso es para comparar between two only. This example is for this. For the mm. comparación. Sí, ambos son para comparación. Both are for comparison. La diferencia es, the difference is, like for example, the comparatives, el comparativo, que lleva la ER, ese es para comparar dos cosas o dos personas o dos situaciones. All right? Hasta ahí. Los superlativos es para resaltar en lo máximo de un adjetivo. Por eso dice acá, for example, eh, like this one right here. Like this one, for example. Voy a dar un ejemplo de comparativo. All right? So, um, 
San Salvador, it's bigger than um, Chalate, for example. Good. Ese es el comparativo. Ese siempre hay nada más lleva la R. El superlativo sería San Salvador is the biggest city. Ahora, ¿cómo entendemos esto? Claro, estamos comparando en ambos casos, right? Pero acá estoy hablando de San Salvador y de Chalate. Chalate, very good. Y aquí simplemente estoy diciendo que San Salvador es la ¿Qué? La más grande. La más grande, exacto. Entonces los superlativos son para resaltar the, the maximum of something, all right? Understand? Y el otro es solo para comparación. Entre dos cosas. Uh -huh. okay. O personas, yes. Questions? Es por eso que llega, lleva el tan, ¿verdad? En Just la comparación con dos cosas. Correct, correct, correct. Este que estamos viendo, no. All right? No lo lleva. Okay. Very good, excellent. Let's actually practice. Any other question? Antes de practicar? Before practicing? No, teacher. It's clear. Okay, excellent. So let's continue with the next activity here so we can do it together. I can know I have a problem there. So we're going to underline the correct word or phrase. For example, take a look at this one in number one. It says the most important. ¿Cómo identificamos el superlativo? How do we identify the superlative? We identify it because it says, first of all, tiene un D. En este caso, el, el adjetivo es import, important. ¿Cuántas sílabas, how many syllables does important have? Three. Three, exactly. Three. So we Three. got like, important. Es un adjetivo largo. ¿Qué sucede con el adjetivo largo? Lleva the mo most. The most. All right. The Entonces, most. definitivamente sería... Esta la opción, right? Porque esta no aplica, mm -mm. right? So good. Then, number two, don't use the best or the goodest schedules as a reward. What would be the, the correct best. answer? The best. Hey, pero aquí el Eli es que uh, está bien, va? No, 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 the best. The best. Exactly, porque dijimos que esto no existe. Lo correcto siempre va a ser esto. Right? Y dimos un ejemplo. C R 7. All right, excellent. So, then. Okay, okay, number three. So, what is it? Jenny is the first step. ¿De? Fastest. Yeah, fastest. Or fastest on. So the fastest, maybe. No, fastest. E -S -E -S -E -S -E -S -E. The fastest. Esto, entonces. No, no. No, no. Right, so, yes. 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 The fastest, like that. Very good, excellent. What about number four? Delivery orders are the most popular. Most popular. Most pop the most popular. The most popular, all right? So this is not possible, so this is this. The correct answer, very good, excellent. Thank you, uh-huh. Uh, what about number five? This restaurant, this restaurant has the prettiest. Most. The what? The most the pretty. The most pretty. Okay. Vamos a ver ahí por qué. No, the the pre the prettiest. Ah, the prettiest. Ajá, porque porque es the prettiest y no the most pretty. Porque se duplica la T. Uh -huh. Lleva y. Exactly. Because he has like why, 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 why. That's how you say it, all right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, excellent. So then what is going to be the last one? Hmm? Uh, the kitchen manager works the longest. The kitchen manager? Works the long, long, long heads, no sé. 
Longest. The longest. The longest. Exactly. The, the longest. longest. The longest, the longest. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, anything else? Any other one? Huh? No more? Okay, no questions? No question, teacher. No. no questions? Okay, excellent. All right, this is actually uh, one exercise that is uh, here. All right, so like the prettiest and the longest. All right, all right, let's just stop, stop this one right here. We are going to go on this one. And we are going to work on a different exercise that I have here for you. So it's to continue creating this one, all right? Aquí vamos a, like, eh, escribir, to write on this one. Do you see it? Yes? Uh, the yeah. superlatives. All right, excellent. In this one, you have here the adjective here, right? En el ejercicio anterior ya les daba la respuesta, just for you to choose the correct answer. Now vamos a crear esa respuesta. We're going to create the answer. The Burj Khalifa is... Building in the world. What is the answer, my friends? It's the highest. The highest. The highest. The highest. Okay. The highest. Eso, man. <laughs> the highest. Like this one? Así. Eh, no. No, va. All right. It's like this one. Yes or yes. no? Yes. Okay, excellent. Let me see if I can maybe put it a little bit bigger. And there you go. Excellent. So, the highest building. ¿Qué era un building, my friends? What was building? Edificio. Edificio. Very good job. Thank you. All right. So, now we have another one right here, which is this one. Fast. Repeat it fast. 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 There you go. Excellent. So, what's this one? The fastest. The fastest. Gira, it's one of the? Fastest. The fastest. 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 The fastest, all right? So it's going to be fast and then EST. Yes or no? Yes. No. No? Uh, ah, no. Double, double, double T. T. Why? No. Ah, no, está correcto. Sí, está correcto. <laughs> Remember, era consonant, vowel consonant, ¿verdad? Yes. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's say this one right here. We have now expensive. What's going to be here the next one? The, the, most, most, the, most, the most expensive. The most expensive. Exactly. Yeah. The most expensive. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Okay. The most expensive. And then it says February is, um, and I have this one. The shortest. The shortest. The shortest. The shortest month of the year. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So number five, it says, Popular, yes. right? So food the, food most food. Popular. the most popular. The most popular. All right. The most popular. There you go. Excellent. All right. Number six. What is it? I am the youngest. I am the youngest. I am the youngest. Very good. The youngest. Ese adjetivo solamente tiene una sola sílaba. Young, right? The youngest person. Yes. All right. Maggie, Maggie, number seven. What happens with pretty? Maggie the is the prettiest. 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 The prettiest. All right. Exactly. So you're going this one. The pre Yes. All right. And we change this one because it finishes in Y, right? Yeah. There you go. And number eight. Copies are. Mm -hmm. The cookies. It's the cookies. No, the... cookies. All right. The, the most cute. No, because it's cute. cute. All right. So it's the cutest. Ah, cute. Cutest. Very good. Como es adjetivo, ya termina en la letra E. And we are, not, we are not going to add EST again. So solamente agregamos ST. Okay. Understand? Okay. Okay. All right, excellent. Yes. So, questions about vocabulary here? Questions, questions about vocabulary? 
la teacher. teacher, yo solo tenía la duda en, en el 12, en el, en el, en el 7, Maggi de Perry. Uh -huh. O sea que le sustituimos la Y por una Y normal y le agregamos el EST. That is exactly correct. Así como se lo dijo, like the way you said it. Y a todas las que terminen en, en Y, o sea, dependiendo okay. la sí. palabra se le... Oh, es que me confundí un poquito. Ahí. No worries. Siempre y cuando sea un adjetivo de dos sílabas que termine en Y, no problem. Ok. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. Any other question, my friends? Not teacher. Let's finish the, the exercise. All right, so let's see. Nos quedamos en el nine, right? All right, so this one right here. Yeah. Be, be pulled. All right, so what is it, people? The most, the most, the most difficult. The most difficult. Okay, excellent. Thank you. What about the next one right here? Tasty. The ¿Qué es tasty, tasty, my friends? What tasty. is tasty? Eh, sabor. Sabroso. Mm -hmm. uh, Good. The <laughs> test, right, test, the test test Ajá. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahí? What are we going to do there? ¿Eh? The test is. The test is. Like this one, right? Yes. Yes. All right. My God. This is bad. The bad. Words. The words. The Sí, no, the no. word, the word. Así es, no, no, no. What is worst, it? Word, word, The baddest, the baddest. The worst. The worst. The worst. <laughs> 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 so, that's not possible. All right, so. And then you go on this one. So, then we have Susan. It's the? Unfriendly. The most friendly. The most friendly. No. 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 Friend. Repeat it. Friend. And then Lee. Oh, the most, the most friendly. The friendliest. So it's like this one. Mm, the okay. friendliest. All right. So then you go on this one right here. Comfortable? Most. Most. The most, the most comfortable. comfortable. Most comfortable. All right. Excellent. What about koalas? Koalas? Mm. The, the laziest. Mm -hmm. The laziest. Oh laziest. All right. There you go. Then dangerous? The, the most, most dangerous. dangerous. The most dangerous. Exactly. The most dangerous. Fat? Fat. 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 The faster. So we'll be like this one. The fattest. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Or no, yes. Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. What do you only, think? Only one, yes, teacher. All right. Yes, like yes, that teacher. one, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> El más yes. Es que creo que es un verbo, un adjetivo. Bo, bo, vowel, consonant. Exactly. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Ahí duplicamos la T, right? And the last one? The most the elegant. Most elegant. <sighs> the most elegant. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Applause for everybody, people, because you guys were participating and you understood the topic super easily all right so thank you thank you thank you all right so we are going to stop right here all right so remember eh, to join the class on time tomorrow to do your homework eh, please eh, 
to take the time to, to complete esa encuesta, ese survey. And don't forget to also um, finish all the homework, the midterm. Ponería en uno, extremadamente terminado el midterm todavía. So please go for it. All right. And remember, if you need help, text me and I will be able to help you. All right. If you don't have questions, everybody, so you can go to rest. Have a good night. Good, have a good night. night. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.